Today, we got a brand new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer. This brand new trailer is called Destined for Rebirth. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like most of the US, it is freezing right now. Personally, I am iced in, so we're gonna be watching this brand new trailer. You need to stay inside. There are no video games outside. Everything you need is right here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and watch the trailer. Oh man, music. Oh, well, what we're gonna need to come to back place? to that later. It was Sephiroth. That's interesting. It can't be. He wants to finish what he started. Do not rule over the planet. You coming? Way ahead of ya. You be. We have to help them. Tifa, the Naki. Let's get to work. And the Zolum. Let's go. Those destined soldier. for Tifa. rebirth. Oh, we're gonna need to come back to that. We can that was interesting. This. Do not fear the I unknown. Our world. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Couple of scenes in there that I really want to go back to. First one being this one right here. Now, <laughs> if you recall at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, we're in the singularity. Sephiroth is basically tearing up Midgar, right? But it's almost like it's not canon damage. <laughs> like, it's happening, but it's also not happening, right? Like, he's throwing these buildings at us, and then once we get outside in the Beagleverse, we're looking back at Midgar, and Midgar is absolutely fine. However, it appears that was not the case in the Terrierverse. Because in the Terrierverse, all that damage did count, and this was like some type of, like, multiversal thing right that this was happening during our fight with sephiroth at the end and we just didn't know it right like these scenes right here are brand new now i know that there's obviously some debate on whether this is still even multiverse if there is still even multiple timelines but i think it has pretty much made itself obvious with these past few trailers unless there is still i mean i'm sure there are some people who are still very big proponents and believe that this is all happening in the live stream or something like that but i think the more scenes that we get from this and the more details we get surrounding it i don't think that this is um something in the live stream that looks exactly like you know the current midgar with zach alive and other oddities happening no this looks like it's happening for real um this is some other world that this is happening in However, it is a world that also has a Midgar in it and has a Zack, and except the major difference is that Stamp is a Terrier instead of a Beagle. And now as far as where this could possibly be going, I, I just, I don't know. I, I play it back over and over again. I really have no good idea. <laughs> I know we all don't. It's, it's really hard to connect this together in terms of like what we currently know about Final Fantasy VII's world. Hopefully we get some new details in Rebirth that kind of elaborate on where things are going there. Uh, I expect Rebirth to raise more questions than it answers. I think a lot of people are going to Rebirth thinking that they're going to get answers, but I actually think that we're going to have more questions by the end of Rebirth than we even had by the end of Remake. I, I think that we are going to be more WTF at the end of this game than we were at the end of the first which is absolutely nutty but i think that's what's gonna happen the other scene here is pretty interesting to me it looks like tifa is falling into mako into the live stream or something like that but cloud is like screaming tifa's name here so he seems to think she's in some sort of trouble this probably doesn't look too good for her we also got a brand new blog post over on the Square Enix blog. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Preview. Get a closer look at Kate Sith, Yuffie, Elena, and more. Look at him. Look at our boy. As you guys know, Kate Sith is the best and most favorite character in all of FF7. There is no one that even comes close. So let's take a look at this blog post. I'm going to move myself here so that we can get a better look at some of the stuff. The world of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is comprised of multiple regions. Each boasts unique environments for you to explore. Let's take a look at a couple now. An urban residential zone within the fortified metropolis overlooking the ocean. In addition to housing for Shinra personnel, high-end boutiques and restaurants line its streets. Currently, preparations are underway here for Rufus Shinra's presidential inauguration parade. Junon just looks perfect. 
Everything that I would have wanted from the original game brought to life here. They just could not have really done a better job with this location. Shinra 8, a Shinra cruise ship that ferries travelers between the planet's eastern and western continents. After departing the port of Junon, it heads for the resort town of Costa del Sol. As part of the onboard entertainment, the ship plays host to a Queen's Blood tournament. So that's a bit of new lore there that now this is going to play host to a Queen's Blood tournament. For those that don't know, Queen's Blood is a brand new card game for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That is right, FF7 Rebirth has taken the FF8 pill. Whether Queen's Blood will be as good as my favorite Final Fantasy mini game of all time, Triple Triad, that remains to be seen. New characters, Kate Sith and Moogle. <laughs> the Moogle's fur is really impressively rendered here. This gregacious cat fights from atop his sturdy Moogle mount, who provides both mobility and support during battle. When Kate's not duking it out, his high-tech helper aids him in hacking computer systems and telling fortunes. New characters, Elena. This is a really good render of her. Though she may be a rookie, she's as skilled with her fist and gun as anyone else in the Turks unit of the Shinresh General Affairs Division. Dude, she looks really good here. This is a nice render of her. I remember when they first showed her off, a lot of people said that it was a bit too obvious that they were using Tifa's face model. I don't know if you guys still feel that way or not, but please let me know in the comments below. She and her partner Root are tasked with pursuing the Black Road figures, which means she is more than happy to do it if it means being assigned a mission with Sung. Then we have Captain Taitov. Yes, I am going to pronounce it like that. The captain of the Shinra 8, responsible for overseeing the safe passage for all those who travel between Junon and Costa del Sol. He's earned a sterling reputation among his crew, thanks to his unerring devotion to his duties. Dude's got some incredible sideburns here. This is most evident during the various festivities held aboard his vessel, which he personally and passionately MCs. On that, let's go. First, we got a look at Yuffie. Yuffie quickly strikes enemies with a large throwing star. The speed with which she attacks allows you to charge ATB faster than most. While throwing her star out, Yuffie can unleash magic-infused ninjutsu to punish foes. This is what the Switch port of FF7 Remake will look like. Yuffie excels at chaining her attacks together and switching their elemental affinity. Her doppelganger ability allows her to attack in tandem with her clone, enabling her to exploit enemy weaknesses even more effectively. Hurling her throwing star at enemies allows Yuffie to keep pressure from a distance. While her throwing star is out, she can also pelt foes with ninjutsu. Whatever element her targets weak against, Yuffie has a ninjutsu spell for it. It seems like she plays pretty similar to what she could do in Intermission, but they've expanded on it even more. She's one of my favorite characters to play as, and I think that is going to remain the same in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Next, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Kate Sith. Kate Sith darts about the battlefield with the agility of an acrobat, or perhaps a cat, assailing enemies from every side. When he wants to switch things up, he brings out his Moogle Pal, changing his attacks. <laughs> I love just how goofy this looks in like this high quality, high fidelity PS5 graphics and they just stuck to it. It's great. These Kate Sith exclusive moves can hurt enemies or buff allies, but most rely on luck in some way. Let's Ride, however, allows him to hop on his Moogle, enhancing his regular attacks and his unique attacks. Unique abilities. While riding his Moogle, Kate Sith can give enemies the boot with dropkick. Once his Moogle attacks have filled with the Moogle meter, he can also buff his companions with abilities like defense. I have a great feeling that Kate Sith is going to be incredibly useful in this game for his buffs. And once you're able to really get proficient with him, I think he's going to be an absolutely crucial character for some harder difficulty fights. Synergy abilities, let's go! Synergy abilities are powerful attacks in which two characters team up and turn the tide of battle. More abilities will unlock as you increase the party level, a numerical expression of how closely knit your team is, and deepen the affinity between party members. Fill the synergy gauge by using abilities, then unleash a synchronized assault. We have synergy between Kate and Yuffie, and this ability is called the Moogle Pinwheel. The synergy abilities in this game are by far going to be the coolest part. You guys, we got so much going on with this game's story, so much going on with this game's combat. It is looking amazing. It is one, the most anticipated game of the year. I think that in terms of gameplay, this really might be the apex of the Final Fantasy series. Whether the story gets there, I am still waiting to see on what they're going to be doing with the multiverse stuff and with Zack. 
Uh, but I have an open mind and I'm optimistic at the current moment and everything is just looking so, 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 so good. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And if you value this channel, please consider supporting us on Patreon or becoming a channel member with the join button below. And I will see you all in the next video.